Oh, check it out. How do you like my charisma? Charisma! I'll be watching you. What's up, Vault Dwellers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Fallout 4, aka possibly my favorite game of all time. All right, I know that's going to come as a shock to some people at Seven Days to Die. This and Seven Days to Die are right up there, man. I'm really loving it. They're so different, right? I'm going to make them both my favorite games of all time. How about that? Hey, you like them apples? All right, guys. So uh, last video, we finally, finally made it to Diamond City. And this place looks familiar. I think this is Fenway Park, um, a.k.a. the Green Monster. We're going to have to go see the Green Monster, man. I want to see the Green Monster. I'm going to try and hit one out of the park at the Green Who Monster. back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that Ooh, printer scrapped for Mr. parts. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. This is way too political. Like, real life happening today in reality political. I don't see an option for fake news. I guess, well, this game came out before that was a thing. All right. Um, I, I See, I don't even want to talk about this because it's going to get political and I don't like polit politics in my games. Speak up. I couldn't hear you. Oh, you're a freaking bitch. You know that? You know what? Go screw yourself. Newspapers just like to stir up trouble. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome Must to the, be the great suit. green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? All right, I gotta be honest with you guys. They both feel sli like slimy scumbags. I don't like either of them. And she got, she got mouthy with me when I didn't answer a question quickly enough. Um... Yeah, this guy's a dickhead. This hasn't been the friendliest welcome. He's got you there, McDonough. Guess not everyone gets won over by that shark smile of yours. <laughs> no. This guy's a slime bucket. I Was can there tell. anything particular you came to our city for? This is kind of heavy-handed. Like, <laughs> this is obvious this guy's in low life. Um, should I be honest with him? I don't trust him, but I don't think he's I don't think he has anything to do with Sean being gone. Now well, let's ask about the city, because that's more important than finding my son. What is this place, anyway? Why, this is the safest place in all the Commonwealth, with the strongest community and uh, highest standards of living available. We have stores, doctors, schools, power, running water, and the wall as our sacred protector. You'll learn more about the wall soon, I'm sure. But I was talking about Wow, you. the wall. Come on now, what brought you all the way out here? He said the wall. Oh my god. This is like... This is crazy. Um, I don't think I could... I don't think it'd be bad to ask about missing persons. I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? Who would I talk to about finding a missing person? Well, whatever you do, don't bother going to Diamond City Security for help. Uh, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, uh, there is... Charisma! Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. <sighs> this is ridiculous. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security always shrivels away when talk of missing persons I've had enough up? of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. She really seems like she's coming on to me. I think she wants a little bit of Max Bowser. No. Nobody snuggles with Max Bowser. You strap yourself in and feel the G's! 
Anyone who knows what that's from. I don't know. That's just awesome. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Oh, by the way, someone said the mayor is Trump confirmed. That mayor is not Trump. Trump doesn't hide anything. <laughs> he just says what he wants. So that mayor is definitely too slimy to be even Trump. All right, let's come on up here. And that's the last I will speak. The T word. Max Bowser's Unstoppables. That should be Max Bowser's The Unstoppables, right? That looks pretty cool. Look at that. That guy with the trench coat and the freaking Tommy gun. Badass. All right, out of the way, lady. Got to see what this town's all about. What's up with you, little girl? Hey, pal. Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? Oh, I got to go sarcastic every time. A free paper? Sounds like quality. I'm serious. The Institute takes people. You should read up if you're sticking around. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. You better have some proof or that's slander, little girl. You're going to the clink. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so. Someone's gone, and we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there, and they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. Well, then how come you haven't been grabbed since you're causing trouble? Like, why wouldn't they want to get rid of you? Do I believe it or not? I don't think I care. Well, I probably should. So, Institute's grabbing people. Um... All right. I, honestly, I, I, I don't really care. I'll be fine. Yeah, I've heard that before. Piper, you're back. That was... What the hell's going on? <laughs> What's going on, little girl? What are you doing? Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Read the public and be prepared. It's weird that I had a conversation between two separate people like that. I don't remember that ever before. Um, it was interesting. And the camera got really screwed up with it, too. The synthetic truth. Um, yeah, let's read this. This seems like it could be interesting. October 2020, 2020, 2287, The Synthetic Truth by Paper. Oh, this might be like a book. Uh, wait, noodles? It starts off with noodles? Noodles. We all eat them. We all love them. And Diamond City's Power Noodles has supplied this, uh, sustenance, uh, for the past 15 years. Uh, this seems like crap. Uh... Yeah, whatever. You guys can read this if you want. I thought it'd be interesting, but it doesn't really seem that interesting to me. Talk about freaking noodles. Uh, power noodles. There you go. Yeah, this is... I, th I don't know. Whatevs. See, that's the only problem I have with, with reading or not reading in this game. I never know what's important and what's not. This seemed important. Now it's talking about noodles and it's 20 freaking years long. Let's get out of here. I <laughs> time for this. Mm. All Faith's Chapel. Oh, this should be good. Yep. Not sure which God I'm supposed to be praying to. Pastor says it doesn't matter. Hello, hey resident. There. If you're here to pray, sit down and be quiet. Good to see someone new in the chapel. Diamond City treating you all right? What's wrong with your face? Um, Why would I be mean to this guy? I really don't see any reason to. Well enough. For your sake, I hope things aren't always just well enough. We take pride in making things a little better each day. Could be the same for you. Now, if you ever need a quiet place to sit down and ponder the Almighty in whatever form strikes your fancy, we're always open. Um, can I ask him what's wrong with his face? Uh, okay, so I'm not a religious person, but I don't think I would say what a joke. That seems really nasty. Um, let's ask about the religion. It's pretty interesting. 
So, you don't practice any particular religion here? As long as you believe in something, you're welcome. Diamond City is full of people trying to build a better life. I just don't want them to forget what makes them human while they're at it. So the chapel is open, 24 hours a day, to whatever form of worship you like, long as it's peaceful. It's really interesting. I wonder if there's ever been like a religion that just doesn't believe in any specific thing, but something of a higher power. That'd be really interesting. Or I guess they say you could worship whoever. It's really weird. Um, no, it's interesting though. Uh, let's look around. I'm just gonna take a look around. Go right ahead. Yeah, that is um. That's not thinking. sure which god I'm supposed to be praying to. That's thinking outside the box. It just it doesn't matter. At least they're not worshiping a bomb. Yeah, I think that's that's not atheism, but it's um agnostic, right? Where you believe in something, but you're not sure what it is. But I don't think there's like a like a form of religion yeah, around it, is there? I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know much about religion. A combat zone. Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster. <laughs> Sorry, I don't normally read chat, but that was pretty funny. I can't take anything. Boo! I can't even take the teddy bear. This freaking town. Well, what's going to happen? If just no one sees me... Oh, it's you. I'm going to go on your computer. <laughs> Hold on a sec. <laughs> this thing, oh, God. I actually want to read this. I'll be right back. All right, um, right. I'm back. I tried to read that, man. It was, like, way, way long. And it was, like... It was a bunch of, like... Um, artistic writing so it wasn't getting to the point it was just a it was just taking too long basically um but here's piper let's talk to piper why not we're here i can't take anything this sucks what happens if i take something and, and someone doesn't hey, see piper. me I'm glad you dropped by you holding up blue my favorite ballpark's become a shanty town so today's been great interesting you mentioning that seeing as you're from a vault yeah you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and that fish out of water look? Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. Here's your headline. Local man says no. <laughs> like that, huh? <laughs> Smart ass. Fine. We'll do this later, but I want that interview. Got me? I'll give her the interview. I'm just not going to do it right now. Okay, so as long as I see... Um, guys, let me know in the comments. Can I take stuff as long as they don't see me? All right, guys. I just asked chat, and they said I, I can take stuff as long as they don't see me. Um, if you guys want to let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want to add to that, feel free. How do I know if they can see me? I guess if I'm hidden. Oh. Nothing going on here, lady. I'm detected. Get out of here. Get out of here! I know this is your house, but get out of my face. Detected. Hidden. Got it. <laughs> oh, maybe I should just kill her. Would that be better? Oh, you're pissing me off, lady. Go away. Alright, I'm gonna go because she's gonna catch me. I'll have to come back and try that again at some point. I don't wanna I don't want the whole video of me trying to ransack this lady's house without her seeing me. Okay, come on man. Come on, loading screen, damn. Loading screen, loading screen. What happened to little things I could play with on the loading screen? Alright, there we go. Anyone is hey, one Scabber. of those things. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the hooks. Of his, her and her uh, perfect hair. Mm -hmm. Just browsing for now. Blech. Blech. I cut her hair myself. And you want to buy I stuff from me? Fresh That's meat. I ain't selling nothing out. I'll take a look. Sure. Check out these cuts. All right, guys. I'm going to take a little bit of a loss here, but I want the money. So um, we're going to go ahead and accept that. 
I know. It's okay. You're welcome. I'm giving back to the community. I'm kind of a hero. Okay, so that's that little girl. That's P Pippi's house or Pipe's house or Piper or whatever her name is. Pippi right Longstocking. Here we call your haircut the Scav Special. Little flex of blood. Give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. You got problems, John. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Yeah, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. I don't think so. Not today. Some other time? All right, you don't look interesting. Hey, who wants to look beautiful? What's going on here? Hairstyles from across the Commonwealth. Doctor? A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? What? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. Um... You know what? He might be able to, uh... Get rads off me. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Oh, they can actually help you get off, uh... Okay, well, let's cure. Yeah. See what's wrong with me, doctor. Tell me your symptoms. Cure rads. Okay, cool. That's awesome. I like that. Feeling sick. I think it's radiation. We'll clean you up. Don't worry. He's going to clean me up real good with that big giant needle and that purple crap. All done. Purple crap the other fixes complaints? all. Uh, why don't you heal me up too, Doc? Got roughed up. Uh, you look fine, but... Oh, wait. Yeah. He sounds That's Asian, but he doesn't look back in place. particularly Let's Asian. Let's get started. A little bit. A little bit. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I see it now in his face. Kim, I care done. Cares about now, you. was there anything oh. else bothering you? I'm good. No, we're done. All awesome. Right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. Thanks, Doc. You're a good man. All right, so what else we got going on around the here? Super Salon can give you the hairstyle. Uh, I don't care about your salon, dreams. dude. Hey, is that that guy? No, I don't <laughs> think so. Newcomer, huh? Talk to Abbott at the wall if you want a history lesson. Okay, I will do that, sir. What's going on with you, Excuse resident? You read the paper. Damn synths. Hiding among us. All right, so I'm hearing some uh, anger against the synths, and I'm assuming the synths are like robots that look like us. By the way, you guys told me a couple videos back that those two guys who were fighting, one was calling the other one a synth, they look exactly alike. Time to but go, bro. Sonic! Thank you very much for the bit, Sonic. I appreciate it, brother. You are freaking awesome. He just healed himself up real good with that stream boss. Thank you very much, Sonic. It's always appreciated. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, like I said, those two guys were like, you know, the one guy's like, oh, you're a synth, and I didn't know why, but, like, they looked exactly alike. I didn't notice. Honestly, I don't really pay much attention to the faces in these games, but I'm going to try and start remembering to. What's going on with you? <clears throat> Got Kim's right here for you, brother. Pixel Plane, thank you very much for the subscription. Drugs? I'm not interested in drugs. Not now. You do your thing. I guess drugs are legal here. Home plate requires a key. Diamond City Surplus. Everything you need. You? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. No, I won't buy stuff. Don't hey, Myrna. The wall Keep away from my stall. I don't know you. You know me. Yeah. We're good friends. One Statue of David impression coming up. Good. Good. Now, just to answer me one simple question. Are you human? Because I will not serve a synth. Synth? What's a synth? A synth. As in synthetic person. Those things the Institute makes. Look real with hair and sweat and blood and everything. So, are you human or not? No, I'm Jangles, the moon monkey. That's just what a synth would do, ducking the question. We don't serve your kind here. Oops. 
Myrna. Can I try again? I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Trying to tell me you're human now? Oh, check it out. How do you like my charisma? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. Charisma! I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Must be the glasses. Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. Okay, um... I should say not interested. What kind of business you run in here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. At least I know he's a machine. I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what we got. Hey guys, she had some really interesting stuff, and I'm not 100% sure on what I should be selling and what I shouldn't, because I don't know what I'm going to need later down the line, but this is what I'm buying from her. Um, the Wonder Glue, I'm buying anything with these little uh, magnifying glasses. The Wonder Glue, the teddy bears, the high-powered magnet, duct tape camera, um, the board game, and the biometric scanner. And I'm selling to her uh, bayoneted cali calibrated pipe rifle, some cram, fancy snacks, some food, gumdrops. I basically sold a lot of this food that gives you radiation poisoning because like I think I can do better by, you know, crafting it or, you know, like cooking stuff. So, I don't know. We'll find out as we play the game. And I'm sure you guys let me know in the comments. Oops. Sorry. Hey, you're the new guy, right? I am the new guy. Depends on who's asking. Name's Arturo. I sell protection if you're looking to buy. I might want to get some protection. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Right, Let's see, see what, what you, you have. See what Feel you free got, to bro. Test the grips. I'm probably not going to buy too much. Actually, I don't really have a lot of money, so I'm just going to go through this pretty quickly. Um, oh, a big boy. Wow, I can't afford that. Um, a Chinese officer sword? Uh, that's got 22 damage. What does my baseball bat have? I think my baseball is 12. Yeah, maybe we should get that. That seems pretty good. Uh, fragmentation grenades. Oh, machine gun. I've gotten the machine guns. They seem sexy, but they're not... They weren't that good when I when I played. Maybe I didn't have the right, you know, points and stuff, but... Oh, Faithful. Oh, boy. That's a badass. Oh, short, short combat shotgun. I want combat shotguns. That's what I want. Double-barreled shotgun, hunting rifle. I'm just going to look through the rest of the stuff really quick. Yep, I want that shotgun. Now, it's a short... It's a short barrel one. Where'd it go? It's a short barrel one, but I think I can, uh, short combat shotgun, but I think I can, like, put a better barrel on it. I definitely want that, no doubt. And we're going to need some shells to go with that. Uh... Okay, can I take them all? 162 caps? 330? Let's do it. Sounds good to me. Now I want to go out and fight stuff. Can I just steal stuff from you? So thirsty. Oh, that poor Doctor guy. Says I can't drink oh, look at this guy. Cola. You then need you a new need a genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatter. I love his accent. That's really good. Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach... Quitting is for punks Weston had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? 100 caps seems light. I need more. I like your moxie. Charisma! We'll make it 125 caps apiece. How's that sound? That's not much more. Give me more. Please. You own a whole store. You can do better. Look at that fire. Double in your charisma! Eyes. Mm. All right. 150 caps for each piece. And you better be worth it. Deal? Okay. If I ask for more money, will this screw this whole thing up? 
Do I care? Let's recap. What did you need again? Simple. Go to the old Westing estate and look for a baseball. A baseball card and a baseball mitt with signatures on all of them. I think it might be worth asking for more money, even though it might screw up the whole thing. That's not like a ton of money, so I'm going to go for it. You're holding out on me, Mo. Come on. Show me you're serious. You think you can play me for a sucker? 100 caps a piece and that's it. Take it or leave it. Okay. A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. So I and baseball thanks you. So I basically paid 150 Hola. caps to find out um, if I could do that or not. Give me, do I want to give him stuff? Nah, screw you. All right, guys, uh, my timer did go off, so I think we're gonna have to call this one here. Uh, the next video, we're gonna go, we're gonna go to um, the, the private detective guy, and you know, continue along with the quest. I just wanted to kind of see what's going around in here. We got a couple quests. We we did some wheeling and dealing. I am gonna call this one here. If you haven't joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time, and until then, take it easy.